Good morning. My name is Eric Rogers with Ashton Automotive Repair. And today, I'm going to teach you a little bit about how your car works. Just some quick points about things that you need to do when you own a vehicle. I've already popped the hood from the inside of the vehicle. Every vehicle under the hood, under the dash, has a hood release. Usually has a picture of the hood on it. That's the primary catch. Then you've got a secondary catch down here. Right there. That's your primary. This is your secondary. So, this vehicle specifically has a hood prop. Which I like. That goes in that hole right there. Okay, this is a 2020 Subaru Crosstrek. And it's typical for all vehicles, fluids are, are pretty much the same in all vehicles. And they label them so that you can tell what goes in what. Usually they're colored, the caps. This one's for your windshield washer fluid. This one's for your engine coolant reservoir. Never open that one. It even states on it, warning. Don't open that one, especially when it's been driven. If it's not been driven overnight, you can open that. But not until it's really cool. This is your engine oil, and I'm gonna grab a, a towel. And this is how you check it. They get stiff. If you look at this, there are two dots, one there and one there. So I'm gonna check it and see if it's full. And it is. Right where it's supposed to be. Perfect. This is your coolant level. And you can look down in there and you can see that there's stuff at the bottom, blue, a specific type of coolant for this vehicle. This is your windshield washer and usually you can shake it and see down in there that it's full too. This is where you add your engine oil and on this vehicle this is your oil filter right there. Now this vehicle does not have a transmission dipstick to be able to check the transmission fluid level because it's a sealed unit but most vehicles have a transmission dipstick and it's usually back in this corner right here. In order to check the transmission, you have to have the engine running at operating temperature in order to check the level properly. Wish I could show you on this car, but I can't. So that's how you check your fluids.